Welcome to the walkthrough tutorial for the calendar template. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get started with the template and set it up for monthly use. To set up the template, the first thing you need to do is to set up the month. To do this, select your year, select your month, and select the day you want the week to start on, Sunday start versus Monday start. Here we have the total number of tasks that can be completed per month and the total number of tasks that has been completed as well as the percentage. Right now it's at zero because we have no tasks checked off. This part of the template, we have the weekly task. Here you would add tasks and it to be completed once a week. And over here we have the monthly calendar. So like I said earlier, if you change the week start date to Sunday, for example, it automatically updates here as well as the dates. All right, so we'll get started by deleting this task and adding in our own task. As you can see here, we have seven tasks that can be added per day. As you check this task off, the progress bar begins to fill out as well as the number of tasks that have been completed and the percentage updates automatically. To clear out checkboxes quickly, highlight all of the cells that you need to uncheck or check. Click on the space bar on your keyboard and that clears out the check marks. In order to add them all at once, you do the same. Make sure they're all selected, click on the space bar and it checks them all at once. Now let's say we want to rename this calendar. To do this, go all the way down to the tab that says calendar templates. Click on the little arrow and click on rename. And here you can type the month and the year, however you want. And let's say we're done with the month of January and we wanted to use this for the following month. Click on the same drop down arrow, click on duplicate. And now we have the same calendar for February. Make sure the appropriate year is selected. Click on February. Click on the day you want the week to start and go down here and rename. There you go. That's how you set up your calendar for monthly use and how you rename your calendar. Let's say you made a mistake and you wanted to delete a certain sheet. All you need to do is click on the arrow next to the tab and click on delete. All right, so that's all I have for this setup tutorial. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below or feel free to send me an email. I have all my contact information listed right here in the instructions page as well as the description box for this video. Thank you.